In a small town nestled deep within the woods, whispers of a chilling legend echoed among the locals. Here, in this tranquil setting, a tale of terror took root, a tale that spoke of a malevolent entity known as the Shadow Walker. This creature was no ordinary beast. Born from the deepest recesses of human fear, it was a living embodiment of nightmares. The Shadow Walker was a shapeshifter, its form constantly shifting, always assuming the guise that struck the greatest fear in the hearts of its victims. It was said to have eyes as black as midnight, eyes that gleamed with a hunger that could chill one's very soul. Its presence was marked by an oppressive darkness, a darkness that suffocated the light and left only despair in its wake. The townsfolk lived in constant fear, for the Shadow Walker was said to stalk the forest at night, preying upon the unwary. This was the birth of fear, a fear that would forever haunt this small town. The dark entity was not merely a creature of the night, but a manifestation of humanity's darkest impulses. This malevolent being known as the Shadow Walker was believed to be a mirror of the darkness that lurked within each of us. It was a chilling thought, a realization that sent a cold shiver down the spine. The Shadow Walker was not an external terror, but a reflection of our own internal fears and insecurities. The Shadow Walker was a skilled hunter, a master of fear and despair. It prowled the forest under the cloak of night, its form hidden within the darkness. Its eyes, as black as the night sky, scanned the shadows for its next victim. Its presence was like a chilling breeze, a whisper in the wind that pricked at the back of your neck. The Shadow Walker did not merely hunt, it toyed with its prey, filling them with a sense of dread so overpowering it was almost tangible. It allowed them to feel the weight of their impending doom, to hear the soft echo of their own heartbeat growing louder with each passing second. Then, it would strike, dragging its victims into the depths of the forest. The silence of the night would be shattered by their screams, a haunting symphony of fear and despair that echoed through the trees. These victims were never seen again. Their stories lived on only as whispers among the townsfolk, tales of the horrors that befell those unfortunate enough to cross paths with the Shadow Walker. Each story added another layer to the legend, another chapter in the town's history of fear and dread. Rumors spread of travelers who vanished without a trace, their screams echoing through the trees as the Shadow Walker claimed its next victim. Each disappearance, each echo in the night, served as a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked within us all and the terror that it could unleash. As the legend grew, so too did the fear that gripped the town. It was as if an icy hand had clamped around the heart of the community, squeezing tighter with each passing day. The town, once bustling with life, became a shadow of its former self. The laughter of children playing in the streets was replaced with an eerie silence, broken only by the occasional hushed whisper of the dreaded name, the Shadow Walker. The townsfolk began to change their routines, their behaviors dictated by the terror that lurked in the depths of the forest. Doors were locked as soon as dusk fell, and windows were shuttered, as though mere wood and glass could keep out the living nightmare that stalked the night. The once lively taverns emptied by nightfall, their patrons retreating to the safety of their homes, their merriment drowned out by the pounding of their own hearts. Venturing into the forest, once a common occurrence, became a thing of the past. The woods, once a source of livelihood for many, transformed into a forbidden zone. The logs remained uncut, the berries unpicked, as the fear of the Shadow Walker held the townsfolk in its icy grip. The forest's edge became a boundary, a line drawn by fear and respected by all. To cross it was to court death, or worse, to disappear without a trace, swallowed by the darkness that the Shadow Walker called home. The fear was palpable, hanging heavy in the air like a shroud. The once vibrant town was paralyzed, its heartbeat reduced to a faint echo in the face of the terror that the legend had birthed. The silence was deafening, the dread omnipresent, and the creature, though unseen, remained an ever-looming presence. It seemed as though the very air was thick with dread, and even the bravest souls trembled at the thought of encountering the Shadow Walker. The town, once a haven of peace and tranquility, was now a place of fear and uncertainty, its inhabitants prisoners of their own terror. Perhaps the most frightening aspect of the legend 
was the belief that the Shadow Walker was a reflection of our own darkness. This entity, born from the depths of human fear, was not merely a creature of the night, but a manifestation of the most profound and hidden layers of our psyche. The Shadow Walker was a mirror reflecting the darkness that lurks within each and every one of us. It was a chilling reminder that we are capable of becoming the very monsters we fear. Consider for a moment the philosophical implications of this belief. If the Shadow Walker is a reflection of our darkest impulses, then it suggests that we ourselves are its creators. It implies that the terror we feel is not born from an external source, but from the depths of our own minds. We are both the hunted and the hunters, the victims and the predators. The fear that gripped the town was not merely a fear of the unknown, but a fear of self. It was a fear of what we could become if we let our darkest impulses take control. It was a fear of the shadow walker within. Yet, this fear also served a purpose. It was a stark warning, a call to vigilance against the darkness within. It was a reminder of the fragile line that separates us from the horrors that dwell within. The Shadow Walker was not just a monster that stalked in the shadows, it was a symbol of the human capacity for evil, a testament to the darkness that can reside in the hearts of even the most seemingly innocent. It was a reflection of our own potential for cruelty, for malice, for violence, but it was also a call to action, a challenge to confront and overcome our own darkness. For in acknowledging and understanding our capacity for evil, we find the strength to choose the path of light. And so, the Shadow Walker, this terrifying entity born of our fears and nightmares, serves as a stark reminder of the fragile line that separates us from the horrors that dwell within. And so, the legend of the Shadow Walker became woven into the fabric of the town's history. A tale spun from whispers and hushed voices, it seeped in the very marrow of the town's existence, casting a chilling shadow over daily life. The legend was passed down through generations, a chilling bedtime story for children and a grim cautionary tale for adults. Over time, the Shadow Walker became more than just a story. It evolved into a cultural icon, a symbol of the town's collective fear and its defiant resilience. It influenced the town's art, literature, and even the local architecture, with buildings designed to keep the darkness at bay. The stories of the Shadow Walker became a part of the town's identity, a shared experience that bound the townsfolk together. Despite the terror it inspired, the legend of the Shadow Walker also served a purpose. It was a stark reminder of the dangers that lurked in the darkness, of the untamed wilderness that surrounded their little haven. It reminded the townsfolk of their vulnerability, of the fragile line that separated them from the horrors of the unknown. The Shadow Walker was not just a creature of the night, but a manifestation of the town's darkest fears and deepest secrets. It was a mirror reflecting the darkness within, a symbol of the hidden depths of the human psyche. The Shadow Walker remains a cautionary tale of the dangers that lurk in the darkness and a reminder of the fragile line that separates humanity from the horrors that dwell beyond.